Guys, welcome back. We always seem to start our YouTube videos in the dark. It is three in the morning. Wesley and I drove all night and we are about to check the ice to see how thick it is. So Wesley's gonna grab the auger and we're gonna go drill some holes. see what we call the pressure ridge. So I walked out earlier to check the ridge. These are dangerous because someone fell through Pigeon Lake the other day crossing a heave. So I'm just gonna go on the other side. Oh yeah, lots of ice there. It's probably 18 inches there. Our ice anchors in. Eskimo makes a pretty hefty little or uh, pretty handy little uh, ice anchor for a quarter drill. Well, we almost have to go home. We had the heater right on the hose. Who did that? That was you. It was me. We're gonna go through the footage and see who set that up. Donkey sauce. Your face is a donkey sauce. Your life is a donkey sauce. That looks dumb. You're dumb. My head's itchy from my toque. I think a bass would eat that. A bourbon will eat anything. Except for my hook, obviously, right now. Do we want to talk about what time it is? No. Well, all we gotta say is we gotta wake up in two hours for the morning bite. We're all set up, though. What if the fishies are sleeping? What if we should be sleeping? You know what I'm gonna do? Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> We're going to bed. Good night. I might just go back to bed. This is not a bad idea. Are you already putting all your bedding away? I'm gonna wait until I catch a big fish and leave my bed over my hole. You're gonna catch a 10 pound bourbon. And then put my, yeah, get my bourbon. And then the bed just covered in bourbon. Covered in spine. That would be the proper thing. I will see you soon, bedding. Dick bacon. Guys, we are about to make bacon corner. Twenty-seven minute YouTube video, but you cooking bacon. Big fish on the left there. Look at them slithering in. Two. Two of them. I got two fish there on me. No bunch on me, the bottom. I got another fish all over me. Two fish all over me. Mm -hmm. See if I can pull this fish down. You got two big ones all over you. One. One. Let me know what it is. Oh, there's another one coming. I'm gonna double up. That's a laker, hey? No, I don't think so. Look at this fish coming in. Oh, the one chasing. He's chasing my, uh, the hook underneath. I got another fish coming. He's gonna hit me. He's coming. You can see my jig trailing, hey? Yeah. Get, uh... Stopped. Oh, that's a big one, hey? First, uh, we got weird shadowing, but. No, you're good. First bourbon of the trip. 
This fish is ice cold. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's going outside. We're going to release this fish into my cooler. <laughs> I didn't even see it in the first place. Slithering on the left there. Wesley, make this video exciting. Do something dumb. I'm not trying super hard. <laughs> well, I'm going to stop recording because there's absolutely no fish on the screen. Guys, today we have a reality check on how fishing's supposed to go. I am gonna do a catch and cook on the lake, show you guys how I clean these fish. I'll just make a cut. I'll go down to the rib cage, you'll feel it, and it's just one little strip. And then you go right in the middle, all the way down to the ribs, and then you just make a cut there. So this piece is gonna be all boneless, and this is gonna be your back straps. It's gonna be a nice chunk of delicious burbot. Got a chunk like there. I got a little piece of skin on there I'm gonna cut off. And with burbot meat, you wanna make sure you get all that slime off. So rinse it down really well. And you got a nice slab like that. If you have a bigger burbot, um, you could take the belly meat. So I'm gonna take the belly meat here because that's still not frozen here on this fish. And there's a big chunk of meat there. Um, Wesley. Mm -hmm. You guys got to see what's in this burbot. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's why they're not eating. But yeah, I'm going to fillet these tails quick and we're going to see what's in this burbot. And we are going to see. Oh my goodness. That is up. Pile of Cisco's. I'm gonna clean this one up here. Look at that. If you were allowed to use Cisco's, that would be good bait. That is ridiculous. So if you think a fish is full, nope, it's still gonna eat. Crazy. It must have went on some massive gorge for Christmas. <laughs> we were just talking about how the fish were having turkey supper for Christmas. Apparently and having were. leftovers and why we're not catching fish. And I feel like Cisco's <laughs> are on the menu. I have three slices of bacon and I have my rabbit liver. This is not vegetable dip. It's just a uh, spicy kind of garlic, roasted garlic spicy powder. That's going to be amazing. So we are night fishing for burbot, just running like a swim bait. One ounce uh, cheap jig head. These are glow in the dark. This is a frostbite paddle tail. I believe it's the four inch, four and a half inch. I'm gonna show you guys how these glow at night here in the dark. UV light. Okay, if you shut that light off. You got the UV light, UV light off. Boom. So that's basically a good, anything glow at nighttime for burbot. And you're probably good for 10-15 minutes down there. We are moving. Wesley found a hump, mid-lake hump. Take everything down, set up again, and we're gonna get rolling again. You guys see how fast that took us? A millisecond, and we're set up again. <laughs> That actually took us 45 minutes. Wesley found a mid-lake hump. It is uh, 
90 feet on either side of us and we're sitting in 59. We are in the Eskimo 650 XD. We'll show you our uh, sleeping setup here that we do every time we camp on the ice. So we usually put the heater over there. We brought the propane tank in this time because it's minus 25 with 30 click wind so that doesn't freeze. So we put one cot here. This one's mine and we just put a rod on the very far end. Just put a bell on or whatever you want. If you set up a jaw jacker for trout, you do that. And then Wesley's set up here. We basically just throw mats all over the ground. And life's good. And we sleep like babies. Here's your bell. So many fish last night. So much belling that the bell wore out. Yeah. Cheers. Our bacon is cooking up nicely. I should make the video. How do you like your bacon? You'd call it the realities of ice fishing. Have you ever skunked? How many avocados can you fit in your mouth contest? I go for skidoo wine. like an epic skidoo ride. We could skidoo over to the shore. This is a fish. Yeah. He's engaged on you, he's gonna hit. Ready? What do we do? I don't know. Nope, reeling up is a bad idea. Nope, reeling up wasn't a bad idea. Tapping bottom might be the idea. I touched him, I think I legitimately hit him with my hook. He's a feeding fish. Here you go, this is it. He's going, he's going for you. He's, he's turning. That fish is going to eat. He's not, though. Oh, he's all over you, though. He's like, he'll, he'll hit. Oh, he just touched my line. Oh. No, nope, he's still on you. He's all over that. He's all over you. this up. Trying hard. I know. He's down there for you somewhere. Yeah. Oh, he's it's gone. It's me. Oh no. That fish was the most engaged fish the whole trip. Yeah, he just didn't want to eat. Like, he really didn't do anything wrong there. Like, literally, that could have been our video right there. That fish is eating for sure. You got him. Oh! No! He's on you now. You split? No, he's all over you. It's the same fish? What the heck? They're not committing. I thought that fish was going to bite you for sure. I know. I... What do you have on for a hook right now? That uh... jig head and the paddle tail? Yeah, the frostbite paddle. But you see how fast it swam to your hook? Yeah. I can't believe it didn't eat. Like, I was sure your rod was going to tear down. But that fish came in at what? 30 feet. Yeah. Mine's probably like coming in backwards and tails on the hook and stuff. Or perfect. Or perfect. Just need a fish just to show up out of nowhere and just crush my hook. Yeah, but that's what happened. Those last three fish should have happened. I don't think we did anything wrong there. Other than not catch them. Other than them not biting. 
Yeah, it's not like they bit and we missed them or anything. Yeah. They just didn't want to bite on a fall, on a sit still, on a pound bottom. Yeah, everything we, everything in our brains that we know should work, didn't work. All I want for Christmas is a fish to bite. A fish to bite. Guys, we are going to be packing up. Um... I have not caught a fish today or yesterday. I'm gonna try and put a put some footage here together for you guys of just like what we go through sometimes and it happens. You go to lakes and the fish are just not turned on and they just don't bite. So thanks for joining our adventure.